Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. As you can see the wall of death has arrived. You can see they're putting the base down there. Yeah, this is this is exciting. I've never seen it um, one of these go together, especially, but I've also never actually seen the wall of death. So yeah, this is really exciting. I'm really looking forward to this. As you can see, they've started putting the base there. And I'm, I'm guessing these are parts of the wall there. You see, judging by the curve there, I would say they're wall sections. Okay, this is another set of sections to the wall. Coming in. Yeah, wall of death, man. These guys have got some uh, cojones on them. What's they doing that? Look, we've got the, the steps here. I'm guessing that's how you get to the, the platform at the top, the viewing platform. Ken Fox Hellriders. Wall of Death merchandise. I'm guessing that's where you get your merchandise. And this is Lucy. This is Lucy the dog. Lovely dog. Perfectly lined up. But also here, look, we have another set of steps. Yeah, lots of steps. See there, that Wall of Death World Tour. Undoubtedly the world's greatest thrills. Oh, someone's uh, someone's upset Lucy. It's a little bit chilly here today, guys, as you can tell by the hood. The trees are going, the gondolas up there are going. Let's have a close-up here before they put the floor down. See, it's just some we've got it on blocks just to level it off. And uh, you can imagine this has got to be absolutely spot on, haven't it? You know, when you're riding around this. I, I just still can't get my head around it, you know? I understand the gravity of it all and the speed of the bikes going around it, but I don't know. How, how do you build something that can take all that pressure from the bikes going round and round and stay together? So this is what I'm really fascinated to see. All of death, daily shows. I'm not really sure what times they are, but we're gonna try and find that out before the end of the video to see what times of day they're gonna be doing it. A few people have asked me that. So yeah, this is it from the 13th to the 22nd. Okay, they're removing the cover. Rolling it up. Like even down to rolling up the cover, like it's, I don't know, you can see perfection in his everything. Everything with these showmen. Look, I can imagine this guy's towels, you know, in his bathroom, roll perfectly. Right, this is the first section of the wall to be lifted. I've no idea where it's going to go from here. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at the inside. Oh, my days. Can you imagine the force that is against that wall there as the bikes go around, the weight of the bike and the rider and gravity? It's fascinating, mate. Right? And there goes the first section. Ah, look, propping it. Oh my days. When you look at that, the circle that it's in isn't huge, is it? You know, when you, you think of that there as a diameter. Wow, this is crazy. And it'll also be interesting to see what these guys, you know, which one of these guys and who's who rides the bikes. I'm guessing they all ride them. So that's how they do it. A series of braces, basically, holding it up. That's amazing. I don't know, I was visualizing some sort of strap that would go around the outside, but when you think of where this originates from and how old this, this you know, the, this type of ride is, yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be, you know, basic really by modern standards oh someone's upset lucy again they um that's it now look it, it's i can see this going together pretty quickly when you look at these sections and how quickly they put that last section in that's literally a few minutes so i can't imagine this taking particularly particularly a long time precision with the crane driving as well. Look at that, man. 
That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Wow, man. And you can see there, like, it literally nut, net and bolt straight through and bolt it all together. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. That's crazy good. No, this is not going to take a long. It's section number three in literally a couple of minutes. It's taking shape, mate. No word of a lie, right? This is less than five minutes. Well, all right, let's say five minutes. That's taking them to put that up there. This is not going to take long at all. Section number four. Do you know how I like it, guys, that you enjoy watching these builds as much as I do? Because this fascinates me, and it's an absolute pleasure to watch these people. They are true experts, you know, in what they do. You know, when you see these people, honestly, with no disrespect, man, they are like machines. They, they each know what the other one's gonna do. And, uh, well, you can imagine how many times these people have, have dropped this and put it back up, ridden it. Off they travel then to another one, another fair. This is fantastic, absolutely amazing. That is teamwork, mate, I tell you. And said, see, shouting, bolted, to let them know. It's ready to unclip from the crane. See, as soon as they've uh, had the okay that there's, it's bolted, they move on to the next section. Honestly, it's like a production line in that. Absolute skills, and I, you know, we haven't even seen a motorbike yet. And as far as I'm concerned, this is like a skill in itself just to be able to build these things. And you know, I mean, not everybody's involved, except Lucy. She's just, she's gone. She's camera shy. Now let's not forget, right? They got the wind to contend with here as well. So this is just not a straightforward build. There it goes. First strap in, first few bolts in. I said, give it a little wiggle and pop him in. Well, look at it from this side, man. That's, that's, that's fantastic, absolutely amazing. To think the bikes ride around those walls. You know, I, I just, honestly, I'm still struggling to get my head around this. Well, so far, all we've seen is wood and nuts and bolts. That is literally this whole build you know and as the years are going on you're seeing fewer fewer builds you know with rides that involve wood in any way you know you you just don't it's just getting few and far between well wood's maintenance isn't it metal you know it'll last a lot longer you you, you know you keep it painted every now and then and, but with the wood it needs to be treated a lot more regular look at that we're getting there aren't we we're getting there quickly. And then in go the struts, the braces, to keep all this thing sturdy. This is piece number seven now. And I, I notice on the side there, I'm hoping you can see that it says door. So that's the, uh, the section with the door on it. And you can see the hinges there, can you? So that's how they enter. And that's it, gently does it into place. Bolts go in, nuts go on. And on to the next one. And as we look from the inside there, 
you can see that more clearly that that's the door yeah I, got, I bet there's some lock on that door mind isn't it keep that shut while a motorbike rides around it and off she goes we're almost at the halfway mark aren't we I think just one more piece after this and that's the halfway line isn't it because this this line we're looking down here and straight in front of us that's the halfway line so one more section and they're halfway through it's like a continuous flow they're being lifted into place with the crane maneuvered into place bolted up and then off straight off to the next one that's teamwork that isn't it that's teamwork, that's commendable teamwork, that is. When you see football players and rugby players and what's involved in being a team. Uh, and this is, this is it to another level as far as I'm concerned. And this is it, officially halfway this will be. It's mad how much that they can't, the crane operator can't actually see a lot of what, you know, where he needs to go. and. There's so much information being passed between them, you know, guiding, guiding each other, left, right, up, down. Then for the struts, and then that's it. Straight on to the next piece. Then. This is the moment you've been waiting for, my friend. This is it. This <laughs> is the it's finally arrived. We've seen for a very long time. This is going to be the place to be now between the 13th and the 22nd of May. It'll be the most exciting time to Barry scene for 70 years. It's come back to thrill the visitors of Barry Island. We've got a great show. It's probably the last one that's traveling and there's always new conditions and it makes it more difficult for these boys that risk their life to thrill you. The show may go on for half an hour, but the memory will last your lifetime. This is the one you want to see. I've subsidized this ride by £5,000 to bring it here so it be a special, a special time for all the people that's going to visit Barry because they may never see it again. This may be the last opportunity to cash on and see those boys well, they risk their life to thrill you, so don't miss out. Don't miss this one because you may never, never have the chance to see it again. This is number one for fun and thrills. So come to Barry and see the wall of death. Yeah. Thank you, Henry. Honestly, I cannot believe how quickly this has gone together. I, I'm, we're talking half an hour. This is. Half an hour I've been here. It's an absolute pleasure to film. Sometimes I've had days. Communication is key, mate. Absolute key. This is really coming together now, isn't it? But I, I what is really fascinating is I, ex I expected the circle to be bigger. I don't know why, I don't know. Like I said, never seen this before. I, I've seen it on YouTube, but that's as far as it goes. This is amazing. It really, it's a spectacular thing to watch, and that's just putting it together. They, they're going around the opposite way now. I wonder what the method is from that. There's obviously some sort of reason. They did more than half of it anti-clockwise, and now they're, it looks like they're changing direction, and the rest are gonna go in clockwise maybe maybe they'll do one this side and one the other side we'll soon see i think one reason i find this so fascinating is you know before i became a youtuber i was a carpenter guys i had my own carpentry business for many years and uh so you know i can appreciate you know this reminds me quite a bit of shuttering 
you know, when you're making concrete pan, putting concrete pans together for shuttering. It's uh, very much like that kind of system, you know, bolting them all together. But the pans I used, because I did a bit of shuttering in Germany in the in the 90s and uh, 1990s, and yeah, it, but they were they were they, they were steel frames. But I've no doubt if you go back a few years, the, the frames would have been wood, same as this. Down to the last five sections now. The precision with the crane now, you know, so that, you know, because you would think that's, that's in quite a tight environment there now, isn't it? You know, it's completely surrounded now by, by wall. And, uh, yeah, it's, everything relies on being you know, millimetre precise. And if you look there, see, when they take it apart, you can see see the washers there and the nuts. They leave them there and, and drop it down with them in place so that they're there ready for the next build. Make it quicker, more efficient, and less chance of losing a nut or a bolt. How these ladies are grafters, mind they? Everyone works equally as hard as the next person. And see that red line there with the white above it? They ride up as high as that. I mean, look how high that is. What's that? Well, I don't know. That's a good few feet in the air, mate. It's amazing, man. It's windy guys, like the wind's catching it, you can see it. But they got it man, it's just, it never goes, you know, more than like an inch from where it needs to be, even with the wind. We're almost there now, there's be two more after this one. That's it. Knock him in place. Bolt him up. My lovely wife just brought me a flask. Okay, the first pieces of steel I've seen. So I wonder, I wonder where these go. Changing direction again now. Just give it a wiggle, get the bolt through. The thing is NC, I, I'm guessing they're leaving these a bit loose uh, to make it easier to put together. Uh, I don't know, I can't see that, but uh, I, I would guess they would do that and then tighten it all up at the end because I think that if they tightened it all up to begin with the very last one would be pretty tricky to get in there being tight so yeah to give it a little bit of movement yeah that's uh, we're on the last one this is even more tricky because 
Ah, see, right. They need to end, the last one needs to be in line where the crane is. Of course it does. Because the crane needs to come inside that, that gap, the opening. It's a tight bit of manoeuvring, yeah? To bring it out through there. Look at that, straight out. Well, it didn't even, it didn't even come out. They literally guided it directly into place from the inside. And lower it down. And uh, I would imagine this being the trickiest, maybe one of the trickiest to get, to get in. Because you've got to line it all up now, literally, haven't you? the wind honestly it really is quite breezy and it's, it's not affecting them at all it's affecting me more than it is affecting them I said last few bolts and the last few struts and then that's this part of it done well this is more or less an hour I think it's an hour since I got you 9.30 I got yes, this is 10.30 now. Incredible, absolutely incredible. I, I, I'm blown away really by how quick they put it together. Really is, really is amazing. The crane is done with by the looks. It's putting them away. So I can only think the rest is done by hand. Well, there's the door. Yeah, big padlock on it. So they're not going in there for a minute. These pieces now go in the centre here. Yeah? Uh, you can see they're doing that here. Yeah? Wow, how impressive is that? Look, look at that. And, and, and that's just putting it together. Do you know what I mean? You can you imagine how I'm going to be when I see him riding motorcycles around there? Blows my mind. Oh, look. These are the same people that's putting it together, aren't they? And they got go-karts as well. Uh, this is going to be something else, mate. Oh look, they're feeding a cable around the outside. I did say at the beginning, didn't I, that I thought it might be wrapped around with something. And yeah, cable in, wrap around it to hold it all together, give it that extra strength. And they use that then to pull the wires tight. You can see they've started tightening that, that cable there at the bottom. And uh, yeah, and there's, an, there's another cable end that's, that's going further up. You can see it there, it'll come around just over halfway. Yeah, there's the, the, the cable that goes higher up. I don't know whether that'll be the last one. When you think how many years that a show like this has been going on, I mean, it is one of the oldest fairground attractions, isn't it? This is still the same, from what I can see, as it would have been all them years ago, you know? I'm sure there's a few extra things they've added to it. But yeah, that's, it blew, it's, it's mind-blowing, there. those irons in either side so that the cable can't twist then as they're tightening it. Looking good man, looking good. Look you can see how windy it is by the by the water in the log flume. She's breezy you mate, she's breezy. Right, they're both tightening it now at the same time. Now the bottom one. There's, there's two joins in the cable. There's this side and the other side. That's it, she's tight. Something I was just thinking about now, there's got to be an outer side to this, haven't there? Because if we look at this picture, you see the wall there, these people are standing under cover. So I'm guessing it's covered in. I'm guessing some sort of platform will go around the top there and then we've got the steps then to lead you up to it. Yeah, I, I honestly don't know, it's all guesswork for me. As you can see here, uh, Lexi, all the bolts need to be tightened up. Now it's all pulled in. Got the cables there holding it all tight together which is amazing. Okay, the guys are back. They're all fueled up. They've had some breakfast and some coffee. Caffeine is always good. And uh, this is the outer rail now. And, and that, that section at the top there, I'm guessing that's the platform you, you'll stand on. Yeah, it's kind of starting to make sense. But the wind uh, is, is against them, guys. It's picking up, it's getting worse. So it goes in between the two braces that they've put in and bolted up. 
it's, it's amazing what goes into all this, isn't it? Fascinating. And this is before they even get on a motorbike. Henry's finding out the, the times of the shows here. Lots of people have been asking me. Okay, I've just spoken to Henry and he said that the first show is 12 o'clock Friday, midday, and then it's on the hour from then. So, yeah, that, that's, that's good, isn't it? Every hour. I would guess this is the area where the steps are because he has got an extended platform there. So I think the stairs will be that side. This wind, guys, honestly. Okay, and there's another long one this side. I, I think one would be the entrance and one would be the exit. I am guessing, honestly guessing. But those extended platforms there would tell me that's where the stairs will be. The lorry is almost empty. Okay, so it looks like there's a walkway attached to the side of the truck. It looks like that drops down. Maybe the bikes are inside there, because that's where the door is on that side, isn't it? Yeah, maybe that's their access through there from the truck. Where are we going? Yeah, look, and then they got the door there. That gives them access straight from the back of the truck to the into the dome. Is that what it's called? Dome? Don't know. Ooh, look inside there. I can see bikes, mate. Shiny bikes. Just some last minute taps there to make sure it's right in tight where it should be. So our first glimpse inside. Okay, this looks heavy. That's obviously the tarpaulin in there. I guess it goes over the top and around the sides. It's all guesswork, mate. It's all guesswork. Bolting up the top now. And he's literally going to go all the way around now. Bolting up that very top section. You can see in there, you can see a hand. She's rubbing her hand over the joints to make sure they're smooth. Obviously, they, you know, they don't want to take any chances. It's got to be perfect, mate. It's too dangerous to leave anything to chance. If it's not how they want it, they just tap it into place and bolt it up. You can see how these are, are wobbling in the wind there. Yeah, like I said to you guys, it's, uh, they, they, they're up against it with the wind. But uh, all this will tie in together and uh, it'll be very, very sturdy, I'm sure. Ooh, look, there's the bikes. Look at that, they've kept them undercover to keep the dust off them. Yeah, everything's looked after man miraculously, isn't it? So I would guess when you're viewing this, you're standing up where this gentleman is, yeah? We're just saying now that it's going to get to a point today where they're not going to be able to cover it in because it's too windy. But you can see the gondolas there on the, on the uh, wheel going and, you know, these posts here swaying in the wind. Yeah, so I got a feeling we're not going to be able to see the complete thing today. We can go, there, but we can see what we can see from here. And that's the sides there, look. That's how they get from the floor to the wall. Okay, that's it. He's gone around. He's bolted all the tops. I'm thinking he's going to come down now a level 
and make sure all these are tight. And then the bottom ones, you just confer them with them inside to make sure this all flush and tightened it up. Oh look, you can see in there now. Looking good man, looking good. Tightening the last few. Right, we've been allowed access inside. Let's go and have a look. That's unbelievable. Absolutely fantastic, isn't it? And there's the trap door. Wow. That's something else, isn't it? Yeah. Guys, this is Abigail, look, right? And this is her bike. Wow, they are kept absolutely immaculate, aren't they? What's even got your name on it? That is unbelievable. Do you mind me asking how long you've been doing this, Abby? Eight years. Well, Eight like years. Ten years. Ten I've years. Been, I've had my bike for seven now, this bike. Okay. Um, and then we've all got our own Hondas, which are underneath these ones. Right. Um, and then there's some more Indians at the end there. Wow, Alex that's fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Wow, is that fantastic? Oh, wow. Abigail was just telling me now that. Um, they're a family and they've been doing this 94 years as, as a family, you know, through the generations. That blows my mind. It really blows my mind. But that's, that is something else. But this is as far as they can go now because of the wind. So what Abby's going to give me a call when they decide to carry on. And yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll continue from there. Okay, so the wind has died down. They've opened that roof, haven't they? The roof of the truck. And they've stored all the, uh, well, they're basically like scaffold planks, aren't they? All clips in together. It's literally bit by bit now as you move. Put another plank, move along. Look at man, it's a wicked day, I love So they finished that part now, they, they've got a plank now that goes all the way around the edge. Oh, there's another plank now that goes a bit higher up. And now this is the third level here. It gets higher the further back from the wall you go. So. Obviously, if you're at the back row, you're standing higher than the people at the front row. So everybody gets to see. It's a clever idea, isn't it? It's amazing, not just the design of the actual wall itself, but the design of the truck. You know where the, the stuff that's at the top is kept at the top of the truck. And it was, it was a very similar thing when we were watching them put this together. The uh, carousel there, which is another hundred-year-old ride, and that was that was the same thing. The truck had all the stuff on the roof that needed to go up the top. So very, very clever, very, very, very well thought out design. So there's another cable. We've seen this section here, which kicks out. And you can see that it returns on an angle. This, I would guess the stairs come down from there. That would be my guess. Okay, it looks like these supports that they just put in here are steel too. So 
There's not a lot of steel, mate. It's, it's all wood. So, they're all in. Okay, I called this slightly wrong. This is where the stairs are going to attach because they put a handrail where I, I thought the stairs are going to be. So these steps here will go up there. Guys, I'm going to guess in, like I say, I, I'm, I don't know anything about this thing. And that's the stairs. That's the second set of steps in. Looking good. That's it, they finished with the roof, they're closing it. The most sensational attraction in the world. Wow, look at that, mate. Wow, that section we were doing where the bikes were, that turns into a shop. What the heck? This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's like Transformers. You got a close-up here on the go-kart. <laughs> well, that's working, doesn't it? I bet that's a nippy little thing there, pal. I'm just attaching the handrails now. Quick as a flash, handrails on. Or well, one of them. Now they're concentrating on the handrail and the second set of stairs. That's the second handrail. Almost complete. Some extra support there. See the, the legs to the handrail. Um, and extra support to the steps with adjustable legs. Look, I've just noticed this. This is the pay box. Three pound per person. Henry's subsidising that, guys. Apparently it's supposed to be a lot more than that, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the pay box. That's wicked, isn't it? I bet they go through a lot of this stuff. Petrol. Okay, here goes the flashy, shiny handrails. Oh, nice. Very nice. Job done. A well-deserved tea break there. Their tea, let's have a little nose. Well, this is this buggy year uh, go-kart looks absolutely a load of fun. And look at this though, this wall here of photos. They've traveled all over the world doing this, guys. Look, BBC, you know, on the BBC. Wow, absolutely bonkers, isn't it? Okay, the last couple of handrails to go on. Exit only. That's it, it's done. 
The only thing they haven't put on is the roof and uh, the sign, but they're, they're going to avoid doing that because they're not opening for a few days and uh, basically they, it, it's windy and it just it could get damaged. It's, not, it's just no point. So I hope you enjoyed the build of the wall of death as much as I did. That's not all you're going to see of it. Let's get away from this music. But you can rest assured that is not the last you're going to see of the wall of death. We're going to watch it in action and... Uh, yeah, get, get up close and personal. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, do us a favor, subscribe. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything. And uh, I really appreciate that. So don't get lost or squashed. And we'll speak more soon. Bye.